always do that before a video. Gets me psyched. All right guys, today we are gonna do something maybe a little out of the norm if you've never tried it. But today we are gonna do a super simple, easy, tasty mountain lion recipe. This is mountain lion. And if I didn't tell you it was mountain lion, I would assume that nine out of 10 people would think it is a nice cut of pork. I was able to harvest a beautiful mountain lion last year in the beautiful state of Colorado. And ever since then, I've been trying new recipes with it. So today we are gonna do what they call schnitzel, which is basically, in my opinion, country fried steak, or chicken fried steak for that matter. But any pork recipe you find online, or if you cook pork at your house, you could apply that to a good cut of mountain lion, like we're gonna do today. So like I was saying, this recipe is super simple, it's quick, it's easy, and it's really good. My family loves it. Uh, my wife still can't get over the thought of eating a mountain lion, but like I said, if I wouldn't tell her that it was mountain lion and just told her pork, she would scarf it down and love it. It's that delicious. So what you're gonna need if you wanna follow this recipe is two eggs, lightly beaten. I have about a cup of flour. We've got our beautiful mountain lion round steaks. And then I have about a cup of Italian breadcrumbs. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is take one of these pieces of round steak from the mountain lion, put it in a plastic bag. Make sure their bag seals so you don't make a giant mess in your wife's kitchen. And then we're just going to beat it. I like to beat these down until they're about a quarter inch thick, all the way around. I just use the flat part of the, I guess this is a tenderizer. You don't necessarily need to use the uh, tenderizer part. In. I just use the flat end. And you have a quarter inch thick piece of mountain lion. We have our egg, we have our flour, and we have our breadcrumbs. Now, I think a lot of people make the mistake of they take their meat, whatever their meat they're using if they're breading it, and they go egg and then flour. The secret is, and my grandmother taught me this, is you actually want to go flour first, pat that down, and then you want to go to your egg, your egg wash. And then if I was only using flour, I would go back to the flour. But since we're using breadcrumbs, we're gonna go right to the breadcrumb. And it should come out looking like that. And my thumb's breaded now too. And voila, we have our schnitzel that is ready to go into the cast iron frying pan. If you know, I, uh, I'm a big proponent of cast iron, you, especially when you're cooking at home. There's a lot of benefits to uh, cooking with a cast iron stove. Um, Camp Chef, obviously, it's our big sponsor and they make some of the best cast iron stuff out there. So if you've never cooked with a cast iron, get you one. And uh, most people think they're for camping and the outdoors, which they are, but you can also cook at home with them. I am actually using uh, coconut oil. I'm trying to be a little healthier. Uh, just some coconut oil. You're gonna want um, enough in there that when you put your, should be quarter inch thick mountain lion slabs, uh, half of the mountain lion will be sitting under the oil. So get enough oil in there that you can do that. And I guess that's a good reason why uh, you wanna smash those down so thin so that you don't have to use a ton of oil. But we're gonna let this warm up and get ready and then we're gonna throw uh, our schnitzel, mountain lion schnitzel, into the cast iron. Now, a few things I would definitely recommend is uh, mountain lion can obtain or have trichinosis like bears do or pork used to. Uh, the, the likelihood of it is very slim. Um, there have been some cases of cats in Idaho that have been shot that had trichinosis. So what I would recommend is cook your uh, mountain lion to well done, which is 165 to 170 degrees. And if you cook it that long, you are fine. There should be no worries, but bears, um, 
typically have trichinosis uh, more than mountain lions, but um, it still can, mountain lions still can have it, so just make sure you cook uh, your, your mountain lion too well done, like I said. But don't overcook it, you don't wanna dry it out. We uh, got our schnitzel done. Gage is gonna be our uh, taste tester today. And uh, we'll see, this is, I think his, I think this is his second time eating schnitzel, but um, today wasn't really about the recipe, uh, but more about the fact that you can eat mountain lion and it is delicious. Any pork recipe you find that you like, try it on mountain lion and uh, promise you'll like it. So Gage is gonna take a little te taste test, but I did a, a little um, mushroom gravy on the side. It's always good with gravy or schnitzel, you know. <laughs> There's some misleading faces there, maybe. Is it hot? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a true pro. It was so hot in his mouth, but he was trying to be like, stay in character and be like, whoa, this is good. Dad's burning my mouth. It's on fire. Why don't we let it cool down? You have another bite. Was, was the flavor good though? Mm hmm. Does that not look like just a great piece of pork right there? Delicious. I actually never get a sample of these products on camera. I'm going to show you guys. We're, I'm going to take a bite and tell you honest reaction here, but it's not super hot. Look at this. Mushroom, gravy, schnitzel. Don't want to say, it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. I'm telling you, if I was to feed this to somebody, I never told them what it was, 10 out of 10 people would say it was pork. Guarantee it. It's awesome. All right guys, thanks for watching another Cooking with Hutchin video. We really enjoy uh, cooking the wild game that we pursue and chase and are fortunate enough to harvest sometimes, and you guys can do it too. Uh, follow our recipes, don't follow our recipes, watch what we do, and, and maybe say, hey, I'm not gonna do anything that they're doing, but just watch and learn and uh, cook some of your own wild game. It's awesome, it's amazing, it's a, it's a special feeling to know that you're responsible 100% for the food that you feed your family at the end of the day, so that's why we love doing it. Anyways guys, we'll catch you next time. See you later.